today's video will be discussing the digestion and the absorption of carbohydrates. So what we have here is a simplified drawing of the digestive system. We have the food which goes through the mouth into the esophagus where it passes into the stomach, from the stomach into the small intestine and from here the food is absorbed. So in this video we'll be discussing the digestion um, of carbohydrates and in the following video we'll be discussing the absorption. So the food enters as, well the carbohydrates sorry, they enter as polysaccharides and disaccharides and they are absorbed in the small intestine as monosaccharides. So the, dige the digestion of carbohydrates involves the conversion of polysaccharides and disaccharides to monosaccharides. And examples of the polysaccharides are starch and glycogen. And the disaccharides are maltose, sucrose and lactose. And the monosaccharides are glucose, fructose and pentose. So the enzymes which degrade uh, the starch is known as amylase. Um, not only starch, also the glycogen as well. Amylase basically degrades the uh, one for glycosidic linkages which you can find in the polysaccharides. So there are two types of amylase. You can get salivary amylase and pancreatic amylase. So the enzymes which are degrading the disaccharides are disaccharidases. They are known as lactase, sucrase, isomaltase and maltase. Um, digestion occurs basically in the mouth, the stomach and the small intestine. In the mouth, the saliva contains salivary amylase, which breaks down starch, glycogen and dextrins into glucose, maltose and maltotriose. And the salivary amylase is located in the mouth and it requires activation by the chloride ion and has an optimum pH of 6.7 and it hydrolyzes the alpha-1-4 glycosidic linkages inside the polysaccharides. Now, when the food moves into the stomach, there is a pH of 3 in the stomach, so the salivary amylase stops working. And within the gastric juice itself, it doesn't have any enzymes to break down these glycosidic bonds, but the hydrochloric acid which is present in the gastric juice, this causes the hydrolysis of sucrose to glucose and fructose. So that's digestion in the stomach. Now when the food passes from the stomach to the duodenum of the small intestine, there's a release of pancreatic juice. And the pancreatic juice, one of the enzymes it contains is pancreatic amylase. And it has a similar structure to salivary amylase. And the pancreatic amylase also requires a chloride ion for its function. But this time it has an optimum pH of 7.1. And in fact, the pancreatic amylase and salivary amylase are basically isoenzymes of one another. But the only difference is, is the pH in which they can function at. So the pancreatic amylase can function at pH of 7.1. And it converts starch and glycogen into maltose, isomaltose, and dextrins and oligosaccharides. And just a quick note, the main digestion of carbohydrates occur in the small, destine, small intestines because the food stays in there the longest. And finally, just to finish off this video, the other type of enzymes are known as disaccharidases. And these enzymes are present in the brush border of the epithelium. And they are responsible for converting the disaccharides into monosaccharides so they can be absorbed. Uh, maltase, sucrase, isomaltase and lactase are disaccharidases. Maltase converts maltose into glucose and fructose. Sucrase, isomaltase converts sucrose, isomaltose into three glucose and one fructose. And lactase converts lactose to glucose and galactose. I hope this video has been useful. The next video will be on how these monosaccharides are absorbed. So. Make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching.